Welcome to my channel, All for Health with the Chain Family. We are still on the Senzo Mayua murder trial. We're still having Pinky Vitalingham, the Vodacom forensic cell phone analyst, on the witness stand. In the beginning of uh, the court today, Atoni Ramosipili complains to the court about uh, the, the court giving the whole cell phone number as well as the owner of that cell phone number, which it makes it a, a risk to the life of the owner of the cell phone number. So in his suggestion, he suggests that, that it will be better if instead of calling out the whole cell phone number and the name, they use codes that are known by everyone who is there in court because the names and codes are in front of them, then it's going to be easy for them to know whom are they referring to. But instead, Judge Rata uh, disagrees with Atoni Ramosipili and says it's not going to be done in that way since he does not want to be blamed for not doing things according to the book. Family, let's watch and listen as Ramosipili is trying to make sense to advocate, uh, I mean to judge Rata. But anyway, what did you expect? Obviously, whenever it's uh, the defense, in most cases, you find that judge Rata does not uh, agree with them. So let's watch and listen. Me, me, that after the some of the names and numbers of the people on exhibit DD5 annexure, a call was placed to accused number five's mother by some idiot uh, spewing vitriol and idiocy, my lord. So we've discussed that with the state to say that uh, in such a situation, we think that, especially for my client, but it will be on a case-by-case -case basis that some of the names are sensitive. Therefore, if we refer to cell phone numbers, we should refer to the last four digits. And should we want to refer to a particular name in an extra DD5, uh, then we can mention only the index because we, in front of court, together with the court, have got the name next to that index. Uh, as the court pleases, my lord. So the evidence must be known, in other words. My lord, uh, we, we've been mentioning some of the numbers already with the last four yeah, digits. Fine. I understand yes, with the numbers. Yes. No. yes. What about the names? Um, my lord, if I refer, say, for example, I, uh, in exhibit, an extra of exhibit DD5, and I say uh, index number one, the name is Sipo Ramosepel. As in court, we know index number one refers to Sipo Ramosepel. No, no, no. I don't think I will allow that. Because I'll be accused again of not doing it correctly. Mm. So the evidence that's heard in court, it must be heard in court. If there's somebody is dropping or listening in Zola or whatever, it's not the, it's not the court's problem. I, I do understand, my lord, but I was just raising the, yeah, the security heard, concern around that issue. As the court pleases, my lord, then we'll abide by the court's decision. Yes, yes sir. Yes, court please, my lord. So sorry, I was speaking in respect of accused number two, yeah, yeah, not fine. number five. Yes, Mr. Family, in the next clip, let's watch as the state is trying as hard as possible to prove to the court that Bongan and Danzi had a, a cell phone with him in custody. Remember, Bongan and Danzi said he did not have the device with him because the cell phone was confiscated by the police when he was arrested. And later, the police claimed uh, he was found with a cell phone and it was then taken from him. Then they want to prove to the court that during that time, before it was confiscated by uh, the police, he had the cell phone with him in court. Hence, this long story of, you know, reading out cell phone numbers to and from 
the accused persons. It's because they deny the fact that they had a phone, especially Bongan and Danzi. And another thing is because they deny uh, the fact of knowing each other. Now the state has to prove as much as it can to ensure that uh, in front of the court, it proves that Bongan and Danzi had this cell phone device with him whilst in custody. Family, let's watch and listen. Twenty-eight October, twenty-twenty, seventeen fifty-nine thirty-two. During this time, six eight nine zero received a call from seven six zero five, lasting um, eight hundred and twenty-eight seconds. Go to our analysis card here. Seventeen fifty-nine thirty-two. Number three now six eight nine zero. Yeah, to the Vela good number three now seven six zero five. Bashara Game Susana, E. Yamakulo, I Shakalulu, Bailey, Namashumi, Ama Bailey, and Shakalum Bailey. Let's go, please, my lord. Um, at this stage, I also want to refer the court to the court data. I, I made a copy available to the court as well as my colleagues. My Lord is an extract from Exhibit DD five E Roman figure one. Okay, okay you'll use the okay. Mm -hmm. The data my lord was already handed into the court. I just took that extract for ease of reference. So it's part of exhibit DD five E Roman figure one. It is page twenty thirty eight of thirty eight. Ma'am, are you there? Yes, I wait, am. Wait, wait. You must number it properly. You see, it's an excerpt from DD five E Roman figure one. Sorry, DD five. Yeah. E yeah. Roman figure one. Right. So this must have a. A DD 5E2, something like that, so that it must be clear. It's, it's a follow up from. It's an extract. Or you call it an extra, this of extract, whatever. Okay, we can make it an extra DD 5E Roman figure 3. Okay. Are you able to identify this document? Yes, um, this forms part of the data on the number ending 6890. Uh, this is Tassisa data, number 6890. And the case ID? It's 1031225. Uh, e case ID 1031225. Now I want to refer you to the activity 31 August 2020, 1743-28. During this time, 1743-28 seconds, the number ending 6890 sent a PCM, which is a please call me, to the number ending 7605. So I'm um, 31 August 2023, Scott was 1743 28. The number is 6890. Yeah, to my own lies, so we can get a little number eight, you know, 7605. This was done. Yes. Sorry. This was done through a USSD stream where you dial star, a number, star, ha and the number you want to call hash. We try to learn how to work seven to seven. 
lenze la yoguti ufage istrelo tuwa USSD la wakufuwa wakona usta ebe so ufaga le namba ufisa wisha yela upinde ufage sinyege enyege ista ebe so ufaga uhesh ok let's get let's get this right are you saying the number ending with 890 6890 inputted the number ending with 7605 and then hash then proceed that's correct what was the question again? just explain the process using these numbers <laughs> okay so um it usually works if you don't have airtime, or sometimes even if you have airtime and you want someone to call you, you send a, um, you use the USSD stream, and then you dial star 140, star, the number 079, ending in 7605, hash, and that will then send a message to that person to call you. We talk about the number of sessions on our UTG. Uma umutenge na timing a wazu utashayel the number of sessions we shayel. Unga sense sa le zui number of sessions on a pass go USSSD. Ogu show go to uf anga fa o star at one forty. Ebe se faga no star forty. Ebe se ke faga the number of sessions we shayel age. Go e glo go 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 the number of sessions on seven six zero five. Ebe se faga o hash. Ebe se a two mela age. Yes, the next activity. The same applies to the next activity, which was at 17, 47, 28 seconds, whereby <clears throat> the number ending 6890 sent a please call me to the number ending 7605. So I La poe is cut to the seventeen forty seven twenty eight. Uh the number get eight the nango six eight nine zero. I pin there are two mela um line so kela up four nelwa uh is two mela gulum um number eight the now seven six zero five. And the last activity there that was at seventeen forty seven fifty nine seconds exactly the same as the previous two six eight nine zero sent a please call me to seven six zero five so i was saying the nine fifty nine yeah yeah to mela the number is six eight nine zero to mela lines of color of four nela to mela the number eight now seven six zero five then is that all the please call me to these two numbers? Between those two numbers, yes. And then on the 25th of August 2020 at 10.02, just take me through those two first please call me. Um, on which date? The first activity. On the top. Yes. 25 August 2020 That's correct. at 10.02.35 35 seconds. The number ending 6890 sent a please call me to the number ending 1698. So I'm um, 25 August 2020. Schedule 10.02.35. 35. The number is 6890. Yeah, to me, I'm lying. So, tell out for Nella. It's to me, the number is now 1698. My lord, it's already on record that the number the witness just cited belongs to the ex girlfriend of accused number two. And then the, last acti the next activity there. The next activity on the 28th of August at 12.07.22. I please call me was sent from. 6890 to 1698. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure 28 August 2020. Scott go 12 07 22. The number is 
My Lord, before I wrap up, can I request a 10 minutes adjournment? Just want to wrap everything with my colleague. Okay. Please. 10 minutes. Family, you'll realize that most of the numbers that are from that number that is uh, alleged to be Bongani Ntansi's number, uh, they are to or they are from that other number that is alleged to be uh, ex, uh, Bongani Ntansi's ex-girlfriend's number. So that's what I have realized in this as they are putting this on record, that this is when, according to the state, Bongani Ntanzi was calling the girlfriend, or the girlfriend calling Bongani Ntanzi, sending SMSs, or receiving SMSs from the girlfriend, sending please call me, or receiving that from the girlfriend. So family, thank you so much. Let's talk about this in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video to the end. And please do not forget to like it before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet. I love you, family. Thank you. Bye.